Good against Brennan ass, but with a sick ass mouth and a snake ass flow. Catch up with the round me, we can't play. Coming for the kitty, got my folk got it. Do it for my niggas in the ghost right there. Do it for my niggas in the ghost right there. Niggas got killed for the boy living in the hills, and they wonder yeah. for the boy right there. Damn, but the time for the kill. Uh, we are what them young boys feel. I kill, never be cool, that's real. Nah, you can tell it from my peers, bro. Let your one hug me. Let your one to love me down. Good morning, guys. Please disregard my. Hold on, I gotta make sure I can park here. Alright, I should be good. Perks of, or not the perks, the life of living in New York and driving. But hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kiara Linear. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's weekly vlog. Today's Wednesday, October 6th, and I am getting my hair done. But you guys, I woke up to this morning to some good news. Okay, 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 do it like my B-Day. I just got signed to another agency, you guys, and I don't want to say anything until like it goes on Instagram and all that fun stuff. So it's official, sign on the dotted line, and all that. But guys, I have a funny story about this, and I need to make it quick because I'm gonna be late for my appointment, but I got five minutes. So freshman year, you guys, when I first moved to New York, I'm gonna be moving and talking. I got stuff for a Oh. Freshman year, you guys, I went to this agency, right? Long story short, I got denied. This was my freshman year. Fast forward four years later, they wanna sign you, girl. So that is just a testament to show that if you want something bad enough and you have a passion about it, don't ever give up. You know, don't let one no stop you. Don't let two no's, three no's, four no's, five no's, six no's, because it only takes one yes. And essentially, God has the final say, okay, okay. So yeah, I'm just really excited. That's something I definitely was not expecting to wake up to this morning to get a call from my mother agent. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I thought I had my jacket in here. I took it in. Dang, I guess I don't. Hopefully it's not cold in there. And I forgot my AirPods. I'm just like, girl, what was you thinking, doing? Yeah, guys, so that's that. I'm getting my hair done. I haven't got my hair straight in in five months since my birthday. So I'm excited because Lady, this is not parking, and you right up. Oh, man. Okay, well, she says she's gonna make it parking, but yeah, go in here. Hopefully, she does me well. This is the before, look at a hot mess, and soon comes the after. All right, let me pay for this parking. Cool, I have two hours. I'm gonna start it from the time of my appointment because they be serious about that two hours. So I wanna make sure I have enough time. Make sure nothing's in my ears. The worst is when you got stuff in your ears and someone is doing your hair because they see it. Can't believe I forgot my stinking AirPods. And my phone's on 42%. my hair is done she cut some off to keep the ends healthy even though i was like careful but they need to be off but guys it is 701 i just made myself a hash brown and i'm about to go get duncan before class I'm just going on the app now and watching squid games i packed last night but my bag like isn't officially done i gotta um should i do a cold brew was my stomach gonna be Maybe I'll wait to get coffee afterwards because I don't have time for my cemetery because I got two classes. Well guys, today I go to Arizona. So once I get back from class, I have a meeting with a um, lady from a company that I want to work with after graduation. So I'm really excited about that. To chat it up with her and get some advice and different things like that. But then I have my flight and I have to go early. See if I can get my seat changed because I got a bad seat right now. And it's kind of a long flight-ish. Let me see. 
yeah it's kind of a long flight so let's see if i can move around right now okay guys i don't even know if you can hear me but i just took my first flight first of all i hate connecting flights when i tell you i hate them with a burning passion i hate them with a burning passion and i just landed in minneapolis and i noticed there's not a lot of I was like, oh wow, I feel like the odd man out. But I just ordered some pizza. Here, let's just slap my mask off real quick. I just ordered some pizza. Look how greasy my face is. Look how greasy my face is being in this bath. My flight to Phoenix, if I didn't say I was going to Arizona for a Caillou's football game. But my flight is about to board soon, so I'm hoping my pizza comes. I'll show you guys when I get it. All right, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since breakfast. But that's okay. I guess they don't have many vloggers in Minneapolis. I'll be here until my kids get here and hopefully they don't leave me. This looks absolutely disgusting because I just ate everything. Well, not everything, but like three slices. One, two, three, four, four slices. Your girl was hungry. But they're about to board. And... I'm still getting stared at, but we're about to get on this plane. the mountains, brave the winter, but we made it. I'm back with two thirds of my family. Good morning guys, today is the next day. It is Friday and it is game day. So me and my mom are getting dressed now to go meet with my dad and get some food and get some coffee. It's a late night game, so, well not late night, but like late enough. More Normally the games are like noon or maybe even like early afternoon. Sometimes it'll even be like early morning. But today, I wanna say it's at like 7.30. So we got all day to explore AZ, kinda, sorta. Right now I'm just doing my makeup. And hopefully this makeup lasts all dizzy because I don't feel like having to redo it. I'll probably end up having to touch it up, but hopefully nothing too much because I don't want to have to redo it. But Breland is here too with his girlfriend and his friends to support Caillou. So we're going to meet up with them eventually too. For right now, our first stop will probably be maybe eat and then coffee or maybe just get coffee at the place that we eat. I don't know. I'll show you guys my fit later. I still got to put on my accessories and such but yeah just blending out the concealer heaven in the mouth got a hell of a tongue i can feel the teeth when i drive on the boat fingers letting go with the wheel when i come wheel when i come wheel when i come david carradine i'm a guy when i come she just give me head she don't know what i've done like i'm james dean i'm a guy what's good i mean Okay guys, so if you watch Kyra Aminique on YouTube, I always talk about her, but she always talks about Ebony Woods and it's sold out, but I wanna smell it. Ready? Guys, I'm already greasy. It literally takes two seconds to my head. Greasy. I'm gonna smell it. I already have my perfume on, so I don't wanna do too much. Unpopular opinion, I am not really a fan. But we came into Zara. We're at the Scottsdale Fashion Square. Oh, this is cute. I like this color. Oh, this is what I want. This vest. With the leather. Girl, girl, they on here. Yeah, that's super cute. Yeah, look at this jacket, you guys. I've been wanting, I like this new trend of the the puffers on top of like long sleeve jackets or long sleeve shirts. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Hey, you're the 
said I would lie. We then said the same thing. Alright. We're in Miami, Florida. Don't play. We are in. Hey, we're here. We're in. Don't play. We we're taking photos. Stop, 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 stop. I didn't even get to show you guys a real outfit check. This is thrifted. My top. Second Street Vintage on the shirt. Vintage Levi's on the shorts that I cut myself. Straight hair by me and a little bit of the lady, but you know, I had to redo it. And then you guys know my normal jewelry. I just got this new phone case. Super cute. And I got henna. As you saw, the lady was doing some henna on me. My little purse. All right, we're about to go take some more of these photos. Y'all think I'm picky? My mom is team picky, taking my photos. and I am officially back from, you know, I gotta look behind me and make sure nobody's on. But um, I'm officially back from Phoenix. Had so much fun seeing my family. If you guys know me, I mean by now, on here you should probably know. Hold on, I need to delete some stuff off my camera. <laughs> Pardon me! But I'm on my way to my Sunday grocery store run. But like I was telling you guys, if you know me by now on this channel, you know I'm really close to my family. I love my family so much. And whenever I get to see them, it really does make me happy. I'm just really happy to see my family. Sun goes down on my side of town. This is the bombest ever. They don't sponsor me, but the Laneige sleep mask. Oh, good. Real moisturizing in these feet. Kind of raining today. It's cold out. I need to get gas. Me and my friends, we went out to this Spanish food truck yesterday and we got this posto bone apple flavor. It was just okay. Everybody left it in the car though. Let's get out of here. I'm about to listen to my gospel music. Marvin Sapp, praise him in advance. You guys just hit different. <laughs> to get some gas because your girl is O-U-T. Always turn off your car, you guys, when you get gas. Some people don't, and I'm like, didn't your mama ever tell you you could blow up that way? Dang, they don't have apple pie. see that hold on let's see if we can get nice and close that spider was just chilling on my hand straight chilling i was like oh heck no but i just got my gas and my camera's about to die so i'll see y'all when i get home and we'll do a little grocery store haul okay all right guys got back from the grocery store i'll show you what i got a little bit of some honest teas um Honey butter biscuits. I kind of put everything away, so it defeats the purpose, but I'll show you guys later. But let's make some dinner. I'm making the TikTok viral dish. Wait, is it a TikTok? With the viral? rice. Yeah, I'll show you. And then the salmon. Hold on, guys, I'm gonna show you. So guys, I'm showing Kaylin how I make it or how the girl made it and put it together. There she hold on, I'm gonna show you. There she go. <laughs> so we're gonna put the I made some jasmine rice. I'm getting better at making my rice, you guys. Because rice is hard. Oh, yeah, I didn't even knock it down. Okay. So, I'm at my rice. Put it all up in there. I just washed my hands. Don't worry. Flatten it down a little more because I'm going to have a lot of salmon. Not a lot, but like a good amount. Okay. That's enough rice for me. So, then what you do is mash your rice and your salmon together, right? So they consider it like a salmon rice bowl, essentially, but it's got a little bit of a twisty twist. 
And I can eat this like two days. Oh dang, my computer's, I mean my camera's about to die. Well guys, you'll probably be seeing this on the phone. Okay, as soon as it dies. Too much rice, but that's okay. Put this in a container. Guys, I already kind of started digging in. But look, I took a photo on my phone. Look, it's me. And I made a little KK play. Yes, guys. Let's zoom in. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's like, honestly, growing up, my mom would buy these seaweed things for me and Caillou all the time. But I did not like them like that. Hold on, let me focus. But this, I feel like mixing my rice and my salmon mixture with this seaweed and the avocado, like kind of in a roll up, it makes it taste like a roll. So it's pretty good. But yeah, we're going to eat and then we'll get back to you guys. Today is Monday, October 11th. Sorry if my voice sounds a hot riggedy diggity mess and I look tired and puffy. If that's the case, that is the case because it's 8 a.m. and I'm tired and I have class at 9.05 and I like to leave my house around like 8.40ish. So I got like 30 minutes left. Um, I still need to put on clothes. What is on my arm? Ow. It's the worst thing you got bumps on your arm. But yes, that is all I'm doing. I need to pack up my water. This is not the same cap. Look at this. And if I lost the cap, I'm gonna be so sad. A big old jug of water. Oh, here it is. Okay. I like to get these big waters when I go to Trader Joe's because it just keeps me accountable on my water intake. It's a it's 1.5 liter, so keeps me accountable but yeah i just got done washing my face brushed my teeth i took a shower last night so i'm gonna get ready for the gym after class well actually i have a career advising meeting after class then i'm going to um where am i going oh the gym and then i'm gonna go home and take a shower and get, make something to eat and go to sleep because your girl's tired. But I say that and I never end up getting a nap, so it just who knows if it'll work out. But take out a mask, you guys. It's midterms week this week, and I'm like, oof, oof. I hate test taking. Like I just, just, I don't like it. It's not a fan favorite of mine. But of course, for today, my everyday, I'm gonna put on my Muglare. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's like an alien something. It's the new one. Let me see. Put. If you're interested, it looks like this and it smells like warm vanilla honey and it's just so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey, I love it. I love it. I love it, I love it. My editor just sent me my weekly vlog that will pro that will definitely be up by the time you guys watch this video. And I'm gonna look at it, send back some um, notes, and then it's gonna go live in a piece. Live in a piece. Hey, live in a hey. Let me shut up. All right, what am I wearing today? I think I'm gonna wear some leggings. Oh, when I was away, my dad got me some, uh, or when I was in Phoenix, my dad got me some gallery department socks. So I'm really, I was gonna say jeans, but I'm, my dad got me some gallery department socks and I'm really happy because I've been wanting gallery department. And we actually talk about it that day and he got it for me. And he got me this hat. I think it's kind of cute. The saying is like, eh, but I think it's funny. But anyway, I'm gonna come back to you when I got my clothes on and show you what I'm wearing. It's gonna be very basic, very plain Jane, but still gotta show you guys. My hand is still going strong. It makes me want to get a hand tattoo so badly. And I literally told my parents, I was like, hey, don't be surprised when I come home for Thanksgiving and I got me some, some hand, uh, I got me a hand tattoo. So yeah, I'm like, don't be surprised. Cause I think it's so cute. It just adds a little bit of flair. My hands actually need lotion. See, so much cuter and more moisturized. I need to work on lightening my knuckles though, so they can match all of my hands. But we gonna make it a way to do, baby. Okay, so this is my fit. I just put on my smiley hat, literally black skims top that has some deodorant on it. My set active, set active leggings gallery department socks that I keep wearing because I'm very excited about them and uh, my Yeezys and I'm gonna bring my workout shoes with me in my bag and of course black mask I'm kind of all blacked out today so yeah that's what I'm gonna wear and I need to pack my pre-workout bottle so let's go do that now Alani New sent me a whole bunch of stuff I actually did a photo shoot for them earlier in the year and they just are so sweet and keep sending me stuff Super green. It has 
a lot of good stuff in it. Yeah, I might start taking this with water in the morning. Energy booster, immune system, and gut health. So, we'll see. All right, guys, so I just got done with class and I had to watch my vlog. My editor just did and make some notes so that can go up later today. I'm sitting in the back of my own car. It's kind of strange, but my shoes was back here. So I was just like, let me just sit back here. So you guys saw me pour my pre-workout in here earlier. So I'm about to go to the gym. All I've eaten today really is nothing but a protein bar and I had some coffee. And yeah, I'm pretty hungry. I'm making burritos tonight. So I gotta go home, make some, or unthaw the chicken out. And I'm also thinking about going to Zara to return some pants, but the Zara's kind of far, but we might make the drive. We might do what it do. Yeah, my stomach is growling. I don't know how long I'll be here. Cause I need something to eat, baby. Honestly, I would not work out if I didn't have to. And I say I have to only because when you model and also when you take photos on Instagram, this does not go for everybody. But when you do model, you have to obtain a look. And when I mean a look, more so like the number of your weight doesn't matter. I think people really get caught up in like, oh, I want to be this pound or I want to be this pound. But you could be super toned and sleek and lean and be one weight and then maybe not be so like toned and leaky or sleeked I can't even talk and lean at the same weight like you could literally put somebody that's 120 and another person that's 120 and they look completely different so I don't necessarily pay attention towards the number of my weight but I have to you know maintain the way my body looks because I have chosen to model so that being said oh my agency just posted my photo well by the time you guys see this you already see on my page that I've been signed to Wilhelmina Miami I think I already said that earlier in the video. But your girl is just so happy because uh -huh, that was what my Zoom call was for. I feel like I already talked about this earlier in the vlog though. I'm really excited. Shout out to my mother agent Sparkle because she did the thing. I gotta start forcing myself to go to the gym more because I actually get to go meet my agents. I'm gonna fly out to Miami in November. So, you know, they're meeting me in person for the first time. I want to present a good representation. And I'm also going to start going to Pilates out here, too, because your girl got to get back into Pilates. The gym is cool and all, but I go in there and I know what I'm doing, but I'd rather just have a class. And I really like Pilates, so I'm going to stick with that. Okay, guys. What's your best sauce? We about to get this workout in. I'll see you. I need to finish this. Mm. It's a good flavor, but I don't know. I just don't like drinking it. Ugh. Lego. <gasps> Stop it! Look who I just picked. <laughs> Bruh. Brooke got carpet on it's her day year. Whoa. I gotta make sure I'm going the Why right way. Why does it look like this? Y'all got something to say? I had to pull out the camera, but I'm driving. I just got done from the gym, too. We're about to go get salads. Hey, guys. I don't even remember the last time I got on here, but I am out with Zig. Hagen Elise Career and Michael George. Michael, what's your middle name? Michael is with George. And we are out. Here, let me show you guys you. Hey guys. We are at, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have a second picture too. Yes, I know. We need we need more. We need more. Me and Karen always talk about how we never have. I'm, this is. Really? There we go. You're quick to do a Micah. Every day should we be have, like a like, Sunday not, like, in good pictures. It's really cute out here too, guys. We don't have a lot of So I just did two eggs with my little like salsa verde sauce, spinach, hot sauce, a Trader Joe's hash brown, which I am in love with, and three little mini strips of bacon. So I woke up a little early today. I got a phone call that really freaking threw me off. 
this morning. I wish I could tell you guys, but it was just a lot. But anyway, oh, and I made myself some coffee. You guys know I gotta have my coffee. It's a little light today, but that's okay. And I also have my green juice water from Ali, Alani New that I'm drinking as well. But yeah, I was up a little early today. I don't have class until 1040. It is 937. I don't leave my house until like 1020. So I'm gonna eat. Mm -hmm. I have a good crunch if you can hear it. But yeah, I'm gonna eat, change my clothes because I'm already like dressed and stuff. Then go to class and I might, I was watching a YouTube video, but I might switch over to my laptop and watch some Netflix. Not sure. Gotta watch it on my blog, but we'll see. But yeah, guys, eating, and that's that. That phone call really threw me off. You guys ever happen, does that ever happen to you guys when something just completely throws you off? That was that for me. But all right, I prayed about it, and we gonna move on with our day. Do this. In a couple days since I vlogged, I'm on my phone right now because I'm back at school. Um, I had class earlier today and then I had to go to the tailor to get some pants tailored. And then I went home for a little bit too to grab the pants. So yeah, I came back to school or whatever. It's colder now, like it's officially fall. I'm so happy I get to crack off a beanie. This is my favorite beanie. And if you saw the photo I just posted on Insta, I posted with this beanie too and I think it's so cute. My vlogging has been all over the place, not even gonna cap so ya. Yeah simply due to the fact that it's been midterms and all my college students know like college students that might be content creators out there know that it gets difficult when school kind of escalates because it's just like oh school is my main priority but also got to create the content so it's been a lot but you know we're making it do what it do baby that's pretty much what we're doing um i'm about to go in here and type up a paper and do a final then i'm gonna go to the grocery store then i'm gonna go home and cook then i am going to sit down and relax because we gotta find some relaxation time up in there but i grabbed my airpods and my mask i have my chargers with me so if my devices die, I am on it, bag on it. And I'm gonna go do the, do the launch. I always am messing up my words. I'm gonna go do this work, but I thought it was rightfully so in between the vlog to fill you guys in on what's been happening. I got a tattoo. Okay, bye. <laughs>